everybody, this is Fully Off and welcome back to another Minecraft episode on the AlphaCraft server. Today we're back in the Woodland Mansion because I've got a bit of work to do today in here. Uh, Smurfy, over the last couple of weeks or so, has been making a fantastic gunpowder farm down in the bowels of the uh, of the mansion with a load of creepers. It's very productive, really good, uh, but we don't have any paper. And we're going to need paper in order to make fireworks and firework rockets. So that's my job for today. So if I can run around this corner, is it downstairs? It's not even downstairs, it's upstairs. What I want to do today is build a farm above these guys. So we've got the potato farm down here. Is that potatoes? Is that carrots? That's potatoes. We've got the potato farm here. We've got the carrot farm up on the next level. Above that, we're going to stick in a sugarcane farm. Now it's not going to be it's not going to be massive it's not going to be like the one that we made over at Draymer and uh, Draymer's base for Draymer and Dibs to make all of that paper I say I had a massive job to do still got a massive job to do but our job isn't quite as massive so we don't need as much so we're going to stick it up there I may well I may well put a platform a, a floor up the top there so you can get up and look in this really really going to be very little for you to look at when you're up there so the prob there's probably no point in putting any kind of viewing platform on it. It's going to go in here. It's going to go at that level. So the sugar cane is going to grow on those blocks there. And then underneath here, there's going to be some mine carts. They're going to go into a dropper that goes there. It's going to have a little clock on it. It's going to fire the stuff. This is where we get... Oh, it's night time, so we won't get any falling out on us. It's going to get shot into this glass, uh, glass panel here, this glass block. And then it's going to go up into the storage unit and then get sorted up there somewhere uh, which is fantastic so I've got my little redstone stuff if I make a start now before uh, before the farmers start working again hopefully I won't get carrots and potatoes spilling out all over the floor let's get rid of that as well that looks ugly ugly gorilla right so if we have a dropper there like that and then have that there that there that there have a bit of wood. Yes, you are seeing correctly in my inventory. I have got 37 crafting tables. Woo, good job. Well done, frills. Right, so we'll do that. And then we'll lob down a little bit of redstone. Now, I think the Mycot rails are going to go... I think that's one too far over, actually. I think they're going to go down here. So I can't come out with this as far as I would normally like. What I'd, I'd normally put in. Normally put in a, a, a comparator and then a repeater and then some dust. But that's going to bring me over the top of the rails. So I don't think. Or will it? It might do. It might do. So if it does, it's going to be a little bit too close. So I'll just. If it doesn't, uh, then I can always move it can't I but I think it will that there that there that there one of those there it's a little bit longer but it serves a purpose does a job right now I need I need some hoppers and then yeah I need some hoppers bag nab it Okay, so I've bagged myself a couple of hoppers and I'm gonna stick them in there obviously they're gonna run into that uh, into that dropper which is going to fire them out I might even put some blocks here just really it's a it's an insurance policy it's to stop the uh, the, the sugar cane being shot straight through and out of the sides I don't think it will happen famous last words I know but if that's there then it's even less likely to happen but instead of having a, an unloading system a mycot unloading system there which will wait for all of the sugar cane to fall out I don't really think there's going to be any need for that because although this will produce a fair amount of sugar cane it's not going to be industrial so I don't need uh, I don't need a, a fancy unloading system I'll get away with something like that um, I could I could make it longer if I wanted to but every time this goes round it's going to unload one two three four five ten pieces of sugar cane every time it comes round I think that's going to be more than enough right so let's do a bit of redstone at the top then so we're going to need some of those don't need any of those uh, we'll need 
some of those, some of, of the observers. We're going to need some redstone dust, even though I've got some redstone dust. And we're going to need some, going to need some dirt. So the first thing we're going to do, these are actually in the right place. First thing I'm going to do is throw down some, some dirt. This is obviously where the sugar cane is going to stand. Now, as you all know, sugar cane will only grow when it's got water next to it. So we're going to waterlog some stairs in order to get water next to these pieces of dirt. Now, in the past, and you saw me do it over at Dramer's, at Dramer's, Dramer's house, Dramer's base, I put down the stairs and then I went around waterlogging each individual stair. So I put down the stairs, grabbed some water, put waterlogged one block. Grab some water, waterlog the next one. Grab some water, waterlog the next one. Because it doesn't flow along, it was an absolute pain. So what I'm going to do this time is create an infinite water source here and then fill all of this up. It means I only need two buckets of water. And then I can just keep picking up a bucket, picking up some water, putting it down, picking it up, putting it down. And it means I don't need to keep running backwards and forwards to get water for my uh, infinite water source. So that makes that a lot easier. So now that's all got water in it. Uh, let me grab, just fill my buckets again. Now I should be able to throw in some stairs and they will remain waterlogged. They won't if you put them in that way round, fools. That way round. Per uh, perfect, nearly perfect. I'm just putting this one at the end that way round, just in case I dig through the wall on the other side. Uh, because if the stairs are like that, the water's not going to flow out all over the floor. So now we've done that, I need to get some glowstone on top of here. Like that, and then on top of this, I'm going to need pistons, and then on top of that, I'm going to need observers facing that way. So I need to put those in first. I do don't I? Yeah, observers this way. Now, because they're going to detect when the sugar cane grows to three high. Now there are. I'm going to be using an observer for every sugarcane plant. There, there's a, a, a way you can do it where you only use one observer block that powers all of the sugarcane. But I don't like using that method because that means that there's a chance that all of these will have grown up and be waiting. They're fully grown, waiting for the one that's got the observer above it to grow up in order to activate the entire farm. Um, so I think that's it's just counterproductive I don't I don't like the I don't like it so I'm not going to use it so if we go down these I'm hoping I can do this without can as well excellent so we'll do that I'm gonna to have to get rid of these torches then above that we're going to be putting down some some blocks Like that and then we're going to need some blocks down here as well and on top of these blocks we're going to need some redstone dust perfect now on on the uh, on the glowstone we're going to need i keep calling it glowstone and it's a sea lantern i know it's a sea lantern sorry we're going to need some pistons now these these can be normal pistons these don't need to be sticky so now with the uh, with the other system, if one of those, if you'd only got one of those up there, you'd have to wait for the block to, to grow above or the sugar cane to grow above in front of that observer to fire all of these. With this system, it will only fire the one directly underneath it. Therefore, the rest of them aren't relying on that one growing before it breaks the blocks. So it's much more efficient. Like that. So now I need to do the same again on this side.
So that didn't take too long at all, did it? And again, that will only cause the piston underneath it to fire. Perfect. So what I need to do now is I need to go down and grab some sugar cane, which is, which is down there, uh, and then start planting it because I'm going to need a fair bit. Can I jump down there and not kill myself? I need to get some water. Actually, I forgot to get my water. Zombie dudes come in. Dude, zombie dudes. Oh, come on then. Come on then. Oh, both of you picked things up, did you? On a head. Got a zombie dude head. Excellent. Right, uh, what can I get rid of now, <laughs> seeing as I've got loads of stuff in my... Oh, I don't need that, do I? Oh, my word. Are they going to be scared off by dogs? Why would they? Why would they, Frills? Scared off by dogs. How long have you been playing this game? Alright, I need to get back up there again. Uh, we'll use the scaffolding, I guess. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I don't need that. Zombie dudes. So if we just throw these in here now, and hopefully they'll grow up. And we'll have enough to fill the rest of the farm in a minute. Perfect, just enough. So now we need to get over to the other end and do exactly the same again. Now we should be able to take these out, uh, he said in theory, but we should. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do that. There you go. Excellent. And these ones as well. These ones as well. Don't you love science? I love Minecraft science. And it's the same with these. These can go. Perfect. Right, let's lob. I don't need those and those, and I certainly don't need 34 crafting tables, do I? No, you don't. I've got enough of that. Um, don't need my head. I'll throw my, throw my head in there as well while I'm at it. Excellent. So if I build another one of those, just here and then what i'm going to do is stick a half of one or a quarter of one actually it's going to be just one row of about five or six plants in here just to fill the gap in the middle i won't be able to put any here because i've got all of this redstone and everything but that that should be more than enough uh, so let me just put the let me just put this one in and then we'll uh, we'll put back and have a look at it 
Okay, so that's number two done. And as you can see, it's 100% lossless in here because there's no way for the sugar cane to go. Once it's broken, it just falls straight down onto the floor. There used to be a glitch that would be, the, uh, the pistons would suck items through and it was a fantastic mob sorter. Back in the day, a piston would fire out and then it would pull the, the mob back through the piston. It was brilliant for, for elevators. If you had a piston above your head and it shot down, it would lift you back up through the piston. It was fantastic, but it was a glitch and it was it was patched. Uh, and since then, pistons shouldn't pull items through themselves. So pistons are going to shoot out, break the sugar cane, it's going to fall on the floor, it's going to get picked up by the micro. So it should be 100% lossless. Now I've just got to sit here for a little while and wait for the sugar cane to grow in order for that to uh, in order to fill that up actually before I do that while I'm waiting for that to happen I may as well do the third and final do the third and final one over here uh, yeah just there as you can see there's not enough room to put two in here but there's there's enough room to get one in one two three four one two three four five six six pieces so six pieces is better than nothing i'll stick another one in here it does mean that the redstone there we're going to use that redstone there to power these pistons so it does mean that when that side fires this side fires as well but because it fires the pistons on either side and not all of them it's not really a biggie uh, it's nothing to uh, nothing to, to nothing to be too worried about. So I'm going to do this, uh, and then we'll start putting in the rails at the bottom. Well, that took a little bit more messing about than it should have done, but it's in. Put that across like that. Now we need to fill all of this in with wood. This is really just to stop the sugar cane from flying out. Uh, before I do that, I need to fill it up with sugar cane. So now I need to just wait uh, until we've made a we've made a little bit more sugar cane. And in the meantime, I'll go around and I'll pick up all of my all of my dirt. Okay, so we've got enough sugar cane to fill that up. Now we just need to block. Oh, did I block the top off? Oh, oh, I did. So we'll break that. Break this. And stick some more there like that so now we just need to put the rails in underneath uh, which is easy enough to do we'll uh, we'll stick down some wood blocks to start with uh, and the rails have got to go one underneath this dirt okay so they need to be on this level they can't be any lower otherwise it won't work so they have to go here I want mobs spawning up here. If we get mobs spawning up here, it won't be... You might not think it's a disaster because the mobs are going to spawn up here. They're not going to be able to go anywhere. They won't be able to do anything. They won't be able to get to the crops or anything. But if it's a spider or a baby zombie and they get on the rails and the rails are going to come down onto the floor here. So any mob that spawns on in here that gets on the rails will stop the minecart. And if the minecart stops, the farm's going to stop. So really, we, we want to just make sure that there are... There's no chance at all of bad guys spawning up here. So now we're just going to run. You don't need to run all of these as gold rails. However, I'm probably going... Oh, how did I manage to do that? I managed to do that uh, but I'm going to run all gold rails down here because or powered rails down here because I can Smurf has been good enough to make them all and we're going to stick some gold uh, some uh, redstone blocks there again you don't need redstone you can use redstone torches if you want I'm using redstone blocks because I can the more the, uh, the more red the more powered rails that you use the more chance you've got of you not the uh, the mic not stopping somewhere on the track so that's why i'm using so many i'll fill these up fill these up with powered rails and yeah i can do that sorry fill these up with hoppers don't need to but i'm going to I'll probably stick a couple of blocks running across there as well 
Now, I'm not going to run the risk of putting a powered rail on here and then trying to power it from somewhere just in case it locks the hoppers. There'll be there'll be just there'll be plenty of of momentum to get this around here all the way around here. Without having to worry about powered rails. Because I don't want it, I don't want it budding the, the dropper. I don't want it interfering with that. I don't want it locking the hoppers there. It, it, it just would, it could cause a problem. Uh, so I don't want to do that. So which is why I'm going to run loads and loads of, uh, of uh, normal standard rails around there. Right now I need to do the same over this side. And these blocks don't have to be wood. They can be. Uh, they can be dirt blocks if you want them to be, they can be netherite, they can be whatever you like, as long as they're solid and as long as you can put a a rail, a powered rail on top of them, then you're going to be fine. Now we have to be careful here that we don't put redstone blocks there. If we put a redstone block there, obviously it's going to uh, it's going to mess about with the, the dropper system, the, the clock that fires the dropper and it's going to break. So we put it there instead that won't the signal won't go sideways so that's fine so now we need to run this over to over to there so the hopper my is going to start here go around here go around here drop off everything that is well it's going to drop off one item in each one of these droppers uh, each one of these hoppers, sorry, going to go around to there. It's going to get up to this wall and it's going to bounce back and then it's going to drop off five hoppers and go around to there. Uh, so, uh, do I need any more? Do you know what? I've got, I'm not short of a few hoppers. So I'm actually going to stick. Better be safe, it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm just going to stick down a few more droppers. Just to be safe. These don't really don't need to be here. I don't think. But as I always say, it's better to have them and not need them. Than to need them and not have them. There you go. So now I just need to fill. Is that lighted, lighted up enough? Is that lighted up enough? Is that lit up enough? It probably is. Now, before I put the hopper minecart down, I need to start filling that one up with sugar cane. There you go, a bit of sugar cane. Okay, so we're stuck in the last of the sugar, sugar cane there. That is a difficult word to say. That's all full up of sugar cane. That's full up of sugar cane. We'll fill this in. Get rid of these, fill this in, should I? No, I'm just going to fill it in. Like that. Get rid of this stuff. Hello, fellas. Good job. So now we have two or oh, I didn't keep myself a little bit of sugar cane which I should have done because I need to put the filter in upstairs in fairness I can probably take all of this down now can't I don't need it now we've got a farm Head up to the top floor and make a filter in one of these storage chests. Now, I don't know whether Smurf has already got one. We'll find out. It does mean rifling through a kajillion chests. But all of the sugar cane should be coming up here when it's ready and going into, into these chests. So now we just need to find one. It's got sugar cane in it.
Do you know what? I'm bored of looking. So what I'm going to do is pick a chest that's empty at the bottom and just go up and change the filter that's at the top. Let's put it over by the food, at least. All right. One, two, third one in next to the potatoes. Can I get over the top? I can. One, two, third one in. Next to the potatoes, currently we've got sticky pistons in there. So we'll swap that over for... Yep, that's okay. Swap that over for uh, sugar cane. And now we just have to sit back and wait for the, for the farm to start working. Okay, so that seemed to work okay. There it is. And that should come around into the filter. And we've already had some, we've already had quite a bit already in there. I've only been FK for half an hour or so, but that is working like a charm. So thank you for watching everybody. I know this episode has been a little bit shorter than usual, but I hope you still enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Frilly Off, and I'm out of here. <laughs>